guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And today I am taking you guys into Costco. Woo -woo. We are doing a Costco haul, which I know is y'all's favorite to watch. I love filming them as well. And I love, I just love being in Costco, you guys. I love Costco. We are gonna head right on in. If you guys are new here, go ahead and smash that like button below. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And I know you guys are gonna love this kind of content. Also, comment down below with what I should name you guys. Like, are you just fam? Are you Rachel K fam? Like, I need like a cool, I just need a cool name for you guys. So help me out down below and let's get started. I literally just walked in the store and right out of the gate, I need some of these. They are on my list, but I don't see the other size. I need the other size as well. We're gonna grab some of these. They are the Ziploc gallon freezer bags, $14.89. This is the best price by far that I've ever found them. Happy 4th of July to you guys. So they have a ton of fireworks here. I don't know if you'll have them in your state or not. And of course, you gotta have a fire extinguisher. And I guess that depends if they're legal in your state. I know some places, like they say no fireworks. 60 bucks for 23 pieces or 19 pounds and $100 for 37 pieces or 30 pounds. We are not doing fireworks this year, but we will gladly watch somebody else do them. And then of course, because it's summertime, we've got all the tents and camping gear right around here. We even have some cute little fedora and sun hats. Costco has everything, y'all. A bunch of life jackets down there. We've got some goggles right here and a portable AC unit in case you're in need of one. If you just come to Costco for food and stuff, then you may have never seen this, but like along right when you first walk in, they've got a bunch of aisles with different home things. I love their bath sheets, which are like the towels, but major big size. These nine piece OXO containers, the pop ones that keep everything fresh are on sale for $12 off, $47.99 for nine pieces of them. That is a huge steal for these. I know it sounds kind of still expensive, but these things are pricey. This is what they look like and you pop the top of them and that's how they seal in the air. They're great. I do not need any at the moment, but anytime I need some, I just come right on over to Costco. We've got some flip flops out here and some water shoes. Y'all, can you tell it's summer or what? I have to show you because I was just talking about them. I don't need any more today. They have a bath towel, which is great. $7.99 for a bath towel, not bad, but they have a bath sheet. This is what you guys want to go for. These are so cushy and soft. We have this exact brand just in this gray color, but I can't find them in the bath sheet anymore, just in the bath towel. $12.99. Guys, they're awesome. They're huge. They're plush. Just go grab some. You will love them. I know everyone is loving these little things right now. I've seen a bunch of these on Amazon and these might actually be the same brand. I'm not quite sure. These are the color changing tumblers with a straw. So basically when you put your drink in, it changes the color. You can see right there on the green one, the orange one. And this is a four set or no, oh my gosh, it's a set of 12. You can see it up there for $14.99. That's a pretty dang good deal. If you've watched my last couple of Costco hauls, you know I make a straight beeline for this refrigerated section and I always grab this avocado salsa right here. So many of you guys have commented and told me that you also love it and ate it so fast. Trust me guys, it's good. Also, it's $7.99 for this massive thing of salsa. I usually can go through two of these, so I might just go ahead and grab two. If I did not already have pickles in my fridge, I would be grabbing these guys right here. I've heard great things about how crunchy they are. They're refrigerated, which usually means they are crunchier. These Bubby's pickles, huge thing of them for $7.99. They're the whole kosher dill pickles, I think. Yep. Can't come to Costco without grabbing a rotisserie chicken. He's putting new ones out now, so we're gonna grab the freshest ones we can find. And I love to cut these up into like cubes or shred them, whatever you like, and throw them into the freezer. Easy peasy for a quick meal, and you can just take them out and defrost them in like five, 10 minutes. One of my friends put out this great recipe that looked amazing. It's like a beef Asian stir fry. And she said that she learned, she used sirloin steak. So I'm gonna grab some of this really quickly. $35 for almost four pounds of it. That's actually not too bad, especially considering it's prime. That is a lot of steak for just the three of us to eat. So what I will do with the rest of it is I'll just divvy them up into like usually two steaks and I will put them into a separate freezer Ziploc baggie. If you have a food saver, put it in that. That'll keep it better for even longer. And we'll probably get three meals out of that. So that's not too bad for us for sure. I'm also over here with the chicken. I'm gonna grab some organic chicken breast 
And these also go into the freezer. Thankfully, they are packaged into like individual packages. It's not individual chicken breasts. It's like two to three chicken breasts per package, which is perfect for us. I grabbed some organic chicken breast in here and then I also grabbed some organic turkey, ground turkey, and then under here is my sirloin steak and then we have a rotisserie chicken. That will be plenty of meat for the next two weeks if not closer to a month. I am looking specifically for organic grapes but behind me is the cotton candy grapes. A lot of you guys love these. I don't know guys. I've had them before. They're really good. They do taste like cotton candy. I might have to grab some just so Logie Bear can try them. They only have them at Costco like maybe once or twice a year and it's always in the summertime. They usually sell out pretty quickly so it looks to me like they just restocked. I think I'm gonna have to grab some. This one looks good to me. I'm scooting right on across the way here to these nectarines. One of you guys commented on my last Costco haul and said that the nectarines were really good. So I'm gonna grab some of those. I'm also gonna grab some peaches because Logie Bear loves peaches. They do not feel soft at all, but they'll ripen on the counter, so I'm not too worried about that. Scooting right on over here, I'm also gonna grab some of these organic peaches. We'll just let them ripen on the counter because I'm sure they're probably not super like squishy, but as they get squishier, they get a little bit sweeter too. These look perfect to me. We'll just lay them right on top of the nectarines, which is the beauty of these boxes kind of fitting together a little bit. I am over here at the avocados. You guys, avocados are some of my favorite things to have on hand. They're great for healthy fats, especially since I'm still breastfeeding. If you have not watched my other Costco hauls, I try to buy almost everything organic. They do have an organic option for avocados, but avocados are something that you don't necessarily need to buy organic because they have that thick skin on the outside. That was a weird hand movement. And they kind of protect it from anything being sprayed on it. So because there's a $3 difference and it's the same amount, I am going to go with the non-organic avocados and none of them really look super ripe, but one of you guys told me last time a really cool trick is to basically put them next to bananas and they will ripen super quickly. Whoever said that, thank you so much. Please leave your name down in the comments. I know you said it because you have a banana tree in your backyard as well as an avocado tree. I love learning stuff from you guys. Oh. We are almost forgetting a watermelon, which is right over here. The watermelons are a little bit more expensive this time, but so worth it. Logie Bear loves watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon, especially in the summer? Oh uh, yeah, that's a perfect one. I am picking this guy right here. Lots of track marks with right here, which means it's sweet. I knocked on it and it sounds hollow. It's also got a little bit of some yellowing, which is also an indicator of sweetness. Also, if you pick it up and it feels super heavy, which this one does, that also means it's a good sign. I just walked by the potatoes and onion section. They must be running low or something because there are no organic onions or organic potatoes. There's typically not any organic potatoes here, so I was expecting that. I will just grab them at, in my Whole Foods haul, which will be up on my channel next Thursday. Keep an eye out for that. Grocery hauls every Thursday on my channel. You guys seem to love them, but we are going to skip them here for now. Onions and potatoes are something I always try to buy organic because they have a really thin skin. But we do have this massive bag of six peppers. I always grab these. I do wish they were organic, but I can't find them for a better price anywhere else. They are $7.99 for six of them. This one looks pretty good. You guys, I think this is the smallest amount of bananas I've ever seen at a Costco. It's just right here. That's it. We typically get anywhere from three to five bunches of bananas and then whatever is like kind of starting to brown and like kind of go bad a little bit, I will just throw into the freezer. We'll use it for smoothie bowls, for smoothies, or even just like, that's pretty much all we use it for. <laughs> straight to the blueberries. Logie Bear loves these. A huge, big two pound clamshell for $9 of organic blueberries. That's not a terrible price for them. I basically just do a once over and look at the package to see if I can see any moldy ones or ones that may have exploded already and they're juicy. That means they're gonna get the rest of them moldy. Also, I feel like the bigger they are, the sweeter they are. I don't know if there's any science to that one necessarily, more than the time of year that they're picked, but I'm going with it. If you are a salad kit type of person, this is your aisle right here. We've got some avocado ranch, 
some Mediterranean crunch, Caesar salad, Asian cashew salad, that's one of my absolute favorites, the sweet kale salad, which I know a lot of you guys love as well. We've got a bunch of organic spring mix and organic spinach. I'm actually gonna be grabbing some organic spring mix and some organic spinach this week. I typically grab two of the organic spinach, but I'll just grab one of each this time. Okay, this is a perfect example of looking on the box for the date. You see that little white tag right there? On the white tag, it will tell you the best by date or like even the date it was packed, things of that sort. And nobody has chosen from these ones below here. They just assume that the top ones and the front ones are the best. They are not. Those bottom ones are the ones with the longest expiration date. You're gonna get more use out of them. So be sure to look at the box. I'm having a hard time deciding between this organic spring mix and the organic romaine. It's tough because I like romaine. I'm gonna go with romaine because they have an organic option and I love to put it on like sandwiches and things of that sort as well as salads. So I feel like it's like multi-purpose, you know? It was so cold in there, I just had to get out of there before I could show you guys what I got. But if you're wondering why I have so many fresh fruits and vegetables in my cart, or like if we could even possibly eat those with just three of us eating them. So Cole and Kennedy do help a couple of times. We try to eat plant-based um, three to four times out of the week for dinner. I try to eat plant-based for my breakfast and lunch if I possibly can. And I love to just offer Logie Bear fresh fruits and vegetables before I offer anything packaged. Instead of taking something packaged to the park if he needs a snack, I will just bring him like some cut up blueberries, some cut up grapes, things of that sort. So that's why we have so much in here. But let me show you guys what I have. I grabbed two things of brown organic mushrooms. We grabbed the organic romaine, which you guys saw. We grabbed some sugar snap peas, which is going into that Asian dish that my friend made up. And then we've got the broccoli florets. We have some cocktail cucumbers. I dipped these in the bitchin' sauce like two weeks ago. They were so good. I'm almost thinking about getting a second set, but I'm trying to eat more than just these cucumbers. And then I grabbed some asparagus right here. And then Derek has been loving some uh, celery and peanut butter lately. So I'm grabbing some celery for him. This is also a great stretcher to put in your meals. That's what we're looking at right now. You guys know I love my berry freeze. If you are confused as to what I'm talking about, go ahead and head over to my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krauss. And I have a little highlight there called berry freeze. And I show you how to make it. I probably make one at least once a day, if not twice a day. So. I'm going to grab two organic blueberries and two organic sweet cherries. And that should last me maybe two weeks. I try to eat completely plant-based except for eating meat. I know that's like a weird way to say it, but it's just the easiest way to say it. Derek is the one with confirmed allergies. I also think I have some sensitivities and allergies too. He is the one with confirmed allergies and he is the one who does not care. He loves pizza rolls. He loves cheese. He loves anything that he's not supposed to have. So I'm gonna grab him some cheese right here. And actually that one is more expensive this week. They kind of switch off between these two. I typically always buy the Kirkland brand because you cannot beat the price. 11.39 for two two and a half pound bags. I will just freeze one of these bags and the other one will go in the fridge. I literally cannot believe this. I've been looking for so long for a uh, like a certified gluten-free and an organic oat. We make a lot of oatmeal. I just found one. So it's 7.59 for 80 ounces. That's not even bad. Huge bag, sprouted rolled oats, certified gluten-free. It is organic, which you can see right here. I'm actually gonna grab two of these, one to use now and one to have in our food storage. I'm actually getting four. We use a lot of oats and I make a lot of granola and a lot of oatmeal. So I'm gonna have a bunch of these in my food storage and I'm gonna go return the ones to Trader Joe's. If you are not sensitive to gluten, the Trader Joe's ones are amazing. If you are sensitive to gluten, they're giving me an outbreak on my arm and I don't like it. So 
I was looking for the almond milk that one of you guys told me to grab, but they have really limited milk options this week. I don't really know why. I'm just gonna grab the almond milk that I know that we like. It is $11.79 for 12 32 ounce things, cartons. They're like little cartons. And I love to keep these in our food storage. I use them every day for the berry freeze or just to eat with granola or even just to cook with. If you guys watch my pasta hauls, you guys know we love the salsa here. This organic shelf stable Costco salsa is amazing. I think it's only around seven or eight dollars for two of those massive things. Derek will go through both of these in two weeks. I grabbed one of those. We are good on marinara sauce. Otherwise, that is the other thing that I grabbed down this aisle. And I will show you guys which one I grab. Oh my gosh, they have my favorite marinara sauce back. Oh no might have to grab some. So usually we get this organic marinara sauce um, from Kirkland and it's great. $10 for three of them. They're massive, massive glass bottles of them. This stuff, you guys, this is on a whole nother level. I'm going to grab two of these Victoria marinara sauces. I can't get a handle on like when these come back in stock because they're only every so often, maybe like twice a year. They're so good. Just trust me. Okay, and I just talked to Derek before I left and he said that we are running out of olives. So I'm gonna grab these two massive things of olives. It comes in a two pack. They're 21 ounces each. The cheapest price I can ever find. 16 bucks for two of them. I'm also gonna pick up one of these. It's the avocado spray. I use this very sparingly, $5.99 for two of them. This is a great brand for this. We are completely out of beans and that is so unlike us. I'm gonna grab eight packs of these refried organic beans, $9 for eight of these. And then I'm also gonna grab a pack of the organic black beans. And this is $6.99 for eight of these. These are going away and I'm not headed to Trader Joe's this week. Gasp, I'm usually headed to Trader Joe's right after Costco. I'm going to grab this massive thing of pasta, brown rice penne pasta, $8.99 for three pounds of it, so that's not bad at all. And that little asterisk right there that you see means it's going away. So if you wanna try it, try it. If not, you're probably not gonna see it for a little while longer. Sometimes, you guys, I need something crunchy. So I am going to try these out. The Mary's Gone Crackers, $8 for 18 ounces of them. That's just the nature of the beast when things are healthier, organic. It's sad that things are so expensive, but I'm hoping these are really good. I'll dip it in the bitchin' sauce. Let me show you guys my final card. This is it. When do I not go overboard at Costco? We have organic black beans, some almond milk, some organic refried beans, olives, some salsa, two things of organic frozen cherries, the Mary's Gone Crackers, everything crackers, two things of Victoria white linen marinara sauce, two things of frozen blueberries. We have four things of organic gluten-free oats. One, two, three, and the fourth must be under there somewhere. We have some avocado spray, some rotisserie chicken, organic ground turkey, organic chicken, and prime sirloin steak, gallon freezer bags, some organic blueberries, two things of organic brown mushrooms, some cotton candy grapes, two things of avocado salsa. Right back here we have some avocados, asparagus. Right in through there you can see those bell peppers. We have organic peaches and nectarines, some snap peas, some broccoli, three things of bananas. Oh, there's my fourth bag. Some organic romaine right there. We've got some shredded cheese, some organic celery, um, some gluten-free brown rice penne pasta. Just a great thing to have in your food storage if you are trying to build it up. Noodles are always a great dry thing to have around. And then we've got some cocktail cucumbers down here. And so I know we have some organic spinach in there and a big old watermelon right down in there. You can see it right there peeking through. So there's our final cart. Guys, this is a lot of stuff. This price is probably going to <laughs> kill me slowly. <laughs>
Alrighty, you guys, another Costco haul in the books for you guys. I spent $406. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and smash that like button below. Subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.